In this video, we will learn how to simply and correctly predict the shape of a molecule. It's also called molecular geometry of a molecule. In order to do that, we will use my chart and I will go ahead and explain how to use my chart and then we will also do some examples uh, using my chart to see how easy it is to predict the shape of a molecule. In my chart, the purple dot is the central atom of a molecule. So what you will have to do first is you will have to look at the loose dot structure of a molecule and find the atom that is located in the center, which is called the central atom. And next you will have to ask yourself how many atoms is the central atom connected to and how many lone pairs does the central atom have on it. Lone pairs are just two electrons, um, that's, that's what's called the lone pair. So, for example, if my central atom here is connected to two other atoms and it has no lone pairs, its, its shape will be linear. If my central atom is connected to three atoms, its shape will be trigonal planar. If my central atom is connected to two atoms and has one lone pair, its shape will be bent. Uh, I do have to emphasize that you're not looking at the whole molecule, you're only looking at what exactly your central atom is connected to. Uh, so if you look at the central atom and you see that it is connected to two atoms and it has one lone pair, then um, your shape will be bent. I also put some angles here. If your uh, molecule is linear, it will be 180 degrees, trigonal planar will be 120 band will be less than uh, 120 uh, in this case and so on so you can look at my angles let's continue looking at shapes though so if your central atom is connected to four other atoms it is tetrahedral if it's connected to three atoms and has one lone pair it's trigonal pyramidal if it's if your central atom has two lone pairs and it's connected to two other atoms the shape is bent and let's look at these fun ones. If your central atom is connected to five other atoms, the shape will be trigonal bipyramidal. If your central atom is connected to four other atoms and has one lone pair, it is seesaw. The way I remember it, and yes, you will have to just honestly memorize this chart in order to correctly predict the shape. Um, the way I remember this one is it kind of looks like a person upside down. You can think of the lone pair's eyes. There are two hands here and two legs. So it kind of looks like a person that's seeing something. Seesaw. That's, got, that's how I memorized it. Now, if your central atom is connected to three other atoms and has two lone pairs on it, it's called T-shape. And then if it's connected to three lone pairs and has um, two atoms, it will be linear. Notice there are multiple cases where we have linear. We just see we, we saw linear here, and then in the very beginning we also we also learned that linear could be in the case of central atom being connected to two atoms only. So sometimes some of the shapes uh, repeat themselves. Same goes for bent. Octahedral is when your central atom is connected to six different atoms. If it's connected to five different atoms with a lone pair square pyramidal, four and two lone pairs will be square planar, three and three lone pairs will be T-shape, and finally two and four lone pairs will be linear. So without further ado, let's go ahead and practice, 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 because that's the only way to do well in chemistry and to learn it and to make sure you understand it well. Now notice here I already gave you loose dust structures. You should know that the most important part about predicting the correct shape is actually drawing the correct loose dust structure. So if you're not sure how to do that, go to my video where I explained how to draw loose dust structures and it should hopefully really help you to uh, correctly draw them so that you can correctly predict the shape. Here I have already drawn the correct loose dust structures so we will just use the table to predict the shape. So in the first example in A, my central atom is carbon and it's connected to two atoms only. I see that it has no lone pairs, there are no dots around it. So I'm looking for a central atom that's connected to two other atoms. 
I don't care how it's connected. It could be connected through a triple bond, single bond, double bond. All I care is how many atoms is it connected to and how many lone pairs does it have. It's connected to two atoms, no lone pairs. So let's look at my chart. Where do we see that? Okay, right here. I see my atom is connected to two other atoms and it has no lone pairs. Therefore, it is linear. So I'm going to say that this is linear. And let's continue. B, my central atom is nitrogen. Nitrogen is connected to three other atoms and it has one lone pair. So let's go ahead and find that. Where do we see it? We search, we search, we search, and we see, okay, central atom connected to three other atoms, one lone pair, trigonal pyramidal. So we will say trigonal pyramidal for this one. Trigonal pyramidal. Okay. C, the central atom is sulfur. It's connected to two I'm sorry, it's connected to four other atoms. It's connected to four oxygens, and sulfur has no lone pairs on it. So where do I see that? Right here, central atom connected to four other atoms, no lone pairs, tetrahedral. You can pause and do the rest on your own, or we can continue together. Part D, my essential atom is sulfur. It's connected to two hydrogens and it has two lone pairs. So two connections and two lone pairs. Two connections and two lone pairs. Where do I see that? You can pause and then you can tell me. I see it right here. Central atom, two connections, connected to two atoms, two lone pairs, must be bent. So I'm going to say bent. You see, once you one and once you memorize the chart, it should get very um, easy. And then when you take a test, you can just in the beginning of the test write out the chart from your memory, uh, and then you can just uh, predict the shape based on that if it's easier. And let's do the last one. E. I have xenon. It's connected to five atoms, four fluorines, one oxygen. So it's connected to five atoms and one lone pair. So I'm looking for a central atom that's connected to five other atoms and one lone pair, and I find it here. Five different atoms, one lone pair. It must be square pyramidal. So I'm going to say that this is square pyramidal. This is Maya Alochi. I hope you enjoyed my video. And I hope you found it helpful. I look forward to seeing you in more of my general chemistry and organic chemistry videos. Have a great day.